Hello everyone, myself P. Jitender, Assistant Professor in Electrical and Electronics Engineering, MLR Institute of Technology. So in today's video lecture, I am going to discuss about the problems on Y parameter. Okay. So this Y parameter, we can also call it as a admittance parameter or short circuit admittance parameter. Okay. So in, in today's lecture, we are going to discuss about the problems on the Y parameter or problems on the admittance parameter. Okay. So here we are having the circuit that is pi network is there. So 2 ohm, 4 ohm and 8 ohm. So 2 ohm, 4 ohm and 8 ohm, these three are in pi connection or pi network. So by using this pi network, we have to calculate the Y parameter. Okay. So Y parameters are nothing but y11, y12, y21 and y22. Okay. So, here for this y parameter, first we have to write the current equation. For the z parameter, we have to write the voltage equation that is v1 and v2 and for the y parameter, we have to write the current equation that is i1 and i2. So, here i1 equal to v1 y11 plus v2 y12 and i2 is equal to v1 y21 plus v2 y22 okay so these are the input current and output current equations i1 and i2 right so here repre represent the parameters here so this is first port 1 1 dash and input voltage is v1 input current is i1 and second port voltage is v2 2 2 dash and current is i2 right now here for the first case for case 1 for the first case i am taking the v2 is equal to 0 for the case 1 i am taking the v2 equal to 0 means we have to short circuit we have to short circuit the secondary voltage that is v2 so we have to short circuit the secondary voltage means that is 2 2 dash should be short circuit okay so before that uh, substitute v2 equal to 0 in these two equations so we will get y11 equal to i1 by v1 when v2 equal to 0 y21 equal to i2 by v1 when v2 is equal to 0 these are the y parameters y11 and y21 right now draw the circuit here so here the secondary voltage should be short circuited means the v2 is equal to 0 means the secondary voltage is short circuited here so here redraw the circuit so here the secondary voltage is shorted here so this is v1 and this is i1 1 1 dash and this is 2 ohm, 4 ohm and this is 8 ohm. So here V2 is equal to 0. V2 equal to 0 means there is no current through this 8 ohm resistor. There is no current through this 8 ohm resistor. Now redraw the circuit here. So now Here is the circuit I2, I1, V1 and V2 equal to 0. This is 2 ohm and this is 4 ohm. So here is the circuit. Now by using the circuit, we have to calculate the Y parameters that is Y11, Y21, right. So in this case, 
first calculate the total voltage v1 is equal to already we know ohms law i1 into r where r equal to so 2 and 4 are connected in parallel so that is 2 into 4 by 2 plus 4 so by solving these two 2 into 4 by 2 into 4 by 2 plus 4 here we'll get 8 divided by 6 then v1 equal to substitute this r value in this equation so v1 is equal to i1 into 8 by 6 where i1 by v1 is equal to 6 by 8 or y11 equal to 6 divided by 8 more here is the y11 value 6 by 8 more y11 now similarly we have to calculate the y21 so how we can calculate the y21 so here already we are having v1 v1 is there now we need to calculate the i2 i2 is nothing but current through 2 ohm so current through 2 ohm is apply current division rule so i2 is equal to total current is i1 into opposite of this 2 ohm is 4 4 by 4 plus 2 that is equal to i1 into 4 divided by 6 here is the i2 value now substitute this i2 value and this v1 value in this equation so now y21 equal to i2 divided by v1 that is equal to what is i2 here i1 into 4 by 6 by v1 so v1 is equal to i1 into 8 by 6 so i1 i1 get cancelled so y21 is equal to 4 by 6 into 6 by 8 6 get 6 get cancelled 4 twos so y21 is equal to 1 by 2 more here is the second parameter of the given network so y11 equal to 6 by 8 more and second parameter y21 is equal to 1 by 2 more right now for the second case in second case we have to short circuit the primary voltage that is v1 is equal to 0 v1 is equal to 0 means we have to short circuit the primary voltage so here second case So, V1 equal to 0 means the primary voltage should be short circuited. So, V1 equal to 0 means, so we have to substitute V1 is equal to 0 in these two equations, we will get Y12 and Y22. When V1 is equal to 0, we will get Y12 and Y22. So, Y12 equal to i1 by v2 when v1 equal to 0 y22 equal to i2 by v2 when v1 equal to 0 now draw the circuit here so here is the circuit v1 and this is i1 v2 and this is i2 2 2 dash second port and first port 1 1 dash now the elements are 2 ohm 4 ohm 8 ohm so 2 ohm 4 ohm and 8 ohm now in this circuit v1 equal to 0 means we have to short circuit this v1 value so here short circuit v1 value that is v1 is equal to 0 now the circuit is like this so 
so this is i2 b2 i1 4 ohm 2 ohm and 8 ohm so this is 4 ohm uh, at this these two points 4 ohm is short circuited so current through this 4 ohm is zero right now again redraw, redraw the circuit now the circuit is like this so v2 i2 and this is 2 ohm 8 ohm and here is i1 and here v1 is equal to 0 now we have to solve the y parameters that is y12 and y22 so before that first calculate the total voltage so total total voltage is v2 equal to i2 into r where r equal to so 2 and 8 are connected in parallel if two resistors are connected in parallel the equation is r1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 means 2 into 8 by 2 plus 8 that is equal to 16 divided by 10 r value substitute this r value in this equation so we will get v2 equal to i2 into 16 divided by 10 where i2 by v2 equal to 10 by 16 so i2 by v2 is nothing but what y22 that is equal to 10 by 16 more so y22 now finally we have to calculate the y12 so for the y12 already we are having v2 so v2 is there now we have to find out the i1 so i1 is nothing but what current through 2 ohm so the current through 2 ohm that is i1 equal to total current of the circuit is i2 into 2 ohm opposite element is 8 divided by 2 plus 8 that is equal to i2 into 8 by 10 now y12 equal to i1 by v2 where i1 what is i1 value i2 into 8 by 10 so i2 into 8 by 10 divided by v2 value i2 into 16 by 10 so i2 i2 get cancelled that is equal to 8 by 10 into 10 by 16 10 10 get cancelled 8 twos so y12 equal to 1 by 2 more here is the y parameters right now this all the y parameters we have to write in a matrix form so y11 y12 y21 y22 that is equal to so y11 so y11 is 6 by 8 6 by 8 6 by 8 more y12 is 1 by 2 more y21 y21 is 1 by 2 more and y22 is 10 by 16 more so in this case also these two terms are equal that is y12 equal to y21 then only the y parameter is verified or the reciprocity is verified okay this is about the problems on y parameters okay so in next lecture we are going to discuss about the we are going to discuss about the a b c d parameter or transmission parameter a b c d parameter and h parameter
will discuss in the next video lecture okay so thank you one and all